Hello, Justin here. Uh, in this little lesson today, I'm going to be talking about this pretty cool thing called Nashville tuning. Now, this is a pretty irregular kind of thing, not something that beginners want to check out, but there's hardly any information on the internet that I found about Nashville, so I thought I'd stick a little bit of info up here for those that are interested. Um, Nashville tuning is something that you use most of the time on guitars for tracking in the studio, which means when you've already, say, recorded a regular rhythm guitar part uh, on an acoustic guitar and you want to double it uh, with another guitar part, you saw, if you use a Nashville tuned guitar, it gives it kind of the effect of having a 12 string. Uh, guitar sound. That's its main use. I've been a little bit lately been getting into trying to write tunes with it just in Nashville tuning just because it sounds interesting to me, but generally it's not used like that. Normally it's used for tracking. And um, the reason that you get away with that and the reason that effect happens is because a Nashville uh, tuned guitar is just a regular six string guitar. I'm using my uh, Mate and Mini for this uh, particular one. Um, demonstration. Um, it's the same as like having a 12 string guitar with the regular strings taken off. And it sounds pretty weird. Now, my guitar, this guitar is tuned down a semitone, and I've got to do some recording later, so I'm not going to retune it up for this lesson, but um, it's basically exactly the same notes as you would have on a regular guitar tuning, but some of the strings are up an octave. So if I just play, I'm just going to play from thin string to thick string, so you can hear how different it sounds. So the first two are normal. But then the third string, the G string, which is normally lower than the second string, is up an octave. So is the D string is up an octave. The A string's up an octave as well. And the G string, uh, the E string is also up an octave. Of course, when I'm talking about these names, you've got to remember that they're a semitone lower um, in this on this guitar for this example. Um, just the recording I'm doing. Most of my guitars, to tell the truth, most of my guitars are tuned to semitone flat most of the time. Um, I tune them up for doing a lot of these videos because I want you to be able to play along with them. I just don't want to this time because you're not likely to be playing along anyway. Uh -huh. um, okay, so um, if I was just replacing chords now, like just regular like uh, G, C, and D. just sounds kind of jangly and really cool and when you double that against somebody playing a regular acoustic guitar in a regular tuning sounds really 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 wicked. Now when you're going to do tuning like this it's really 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 important that you change your strings because you can't go tuning your G string up a whole octave or you will snap the string right no question you might even damage your guitar because the strings aren't designed to be tuned up that high so you have to change the string gauge. Now um, the gauge that I'm using for this particular, um, on this particular guitar is a little, it's not quite a standard one. I kind of made it up to tell the truth out of the gauges that I had sitting around for my strings. So what I'm using here, on the thinnest string, I'm using a 12 gauge string. On the B string, I'm using a 16 gauge string. On the G string, uh, third string, I'm using an 11 gauge string. On the D string, I'm using a 15 gauge string. On the A string, I'm using a 22 gauge string, and on the low E, I'm using a 30 gauge string. Um, only the bottom two, the 22 and the 30, are wound strings. The rest are plain strings. Now, I'm gonna put that up on the website, um, and I'll also put up there what the, the regular gauges for people that, that, that most people use for a light set and a medium set. So mine's kind of somewhere in the, in the middle. It's a bit like the, uh, heavy set and it's a bit like the light set just yeah like I said partly because it was strings I had around and partly because I did try the light set and it just felt a little bit too floppy for me it was all a bit uh, I like to have a bit of tension in the strings so um, yeah that's Nashville tuning give it a try if you're if you're recording your guitar or whatever and you've got you kind of need a spare acoustic to stick it in Nashville because you don't want to do it to your main acoustic because then you can't you know play your regular stuff so it, if you're at that kind of level where you've got a spare acoustic guitar fancy trying out something new have a go at Nashville tuning it is very cool um, it's lots of fun I can't think of anything else to tell you about it um, so you don't generally play lead guitar right if I play just like a that would be normal blues You kind of can, but it keeps dropping the octave around all the time. It sounds a bit weird. So it's, this is generally for strumming. I used, showed you open chords before, but bar chords, of course, work too. Wow. 
whatever, you know, bargain, you can experiment. That's the whole idea of this music thing is to try out new stuff. So here's something new for you to try out if you haven't heard of it before. Okay, hope that all made sense. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you for another lesson or tune or whatever very soon. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.